Hey guys, Nikhilia from Home Banao. Welcome to Home Tips episode seven. Still from a self quarantine, from my home, shooting from my home. So I apologize for the image and sound quality. But let's get straight into this video. So in this video, I wanted to cover something very interesting. Uh, as you guys are aware, interior designing your home is one of the most uh, annoying things which you will take across. Now the reason it is annoying is typically you don't know before you actually end up finalizing everything or finalizing an interior designer or paying an interior designer very roughly how your home or your office will look once it's furnished. Now typically an interior designer charges you hefty uh, rendering fees to be able to figure this aspect out. However, I wanted to show you a 100% free tool to at least roughly be able to plan your own interior designer and maybe then, you know, sort of approach a professional or maybe get it furnished on your own if you don't have the budget. So what is this 100% free tool I wanted to show you guys? Well, it's the IKEA Home Planner. So let me quickly show you how it looks. Okay, so to access this particular uh, page, I'll make sure I have put the link in the description. But basically, if you can see here, they have a particular uh, software called the IKEA Home Planner. So when I click on it, it opens up. Now, the best part about this, it's 100% free. You don't have to download anything. It works in any browser, which is basically a, a Safari or a Chrome browser. So you just need a web browser and you can just get off and going. Now, I will warn you this. It's a little bit of a heavy app. When I say heavy, I mean uh, you need to... Uh, have a decent internet connection to be able to use it perfectly fine. So if you see are pretty straightforward, if you want, you can create a profile and if you're planning to test different ideas, you can log into your own profile and do it. And you can just click on start and you can start building your dream home. So let me show you how it looks. I've just clicked on start now. So if you see, right, uh, let me just very quickly give you an overview for this particular software. Over here, very quickly, if you see, there's length and breadth. There's different shapes of rooms which you can add. If there's a diagonal in your room, if there is a sort of corner in your room, if there's various other aspects, you can actually add them. Uh, you can customize them. And then if you see here, very easily, I can change the length and breadth. So this particular thing is an mm, uh, which is basically uh, typically one meter or one mm. So one meter has about 3.3 feet. So you can take that into account. So say for example, this particular room would be all about 12 feet by uh, 10 feet. So here, right, if I, if I see on the left, there's different aspects which I can add. So I have the kitchen, I have a dining, I can ha have an office. So say if you're planning to do interior design for your office, uh, I have different, uh, you know, aspects inside a kitchen like accessories then whatever items I have previously selected and finally I can just remove all and just restart. Now I say I go back to the room layout, I can add doors, I can add windows. Now let me show you something cool. This thing not only works in 2D, it works in 3D as well. So if I just click here, you can actually orbit around the 2D. Uh, if you click here, this is in 2D, this is a wire 3D and then this is complete 3D with basic textures. Now, obviously, this will not be as good as a professional interior design render. However, the idea of you using this tool is just to give some sort of reference point so that anyone who is using it, right, or if you're planning your own home, you at least have some sort of, you know, jumping off point from there, you can take the discussion forward with the professional. So that's the idea behind me showcasing this tool to you. Now, let me show you how very roughly, say, uh, if I, I'm actually working on my own, uh, trying to customize my own office. So say if I have to make a conference room inside my office, I just click on office. I find different uh, conference room desks. So these models which you're seeing here are basically all the IKEA models. So the thing here is this, because IKEA is such a large furniture design company, the models which they use, even if you don't have an IKEA near you, I mean, right now in India, only people from Hyderabad have an IKEA near them. You can actually, you know, show this to a carpenter or a, a, a normal furniture maker and get something similar done fairly easily. Now, this is not just limited to desks and all. You can add, you know, different chairs. And if if you know if if you don't know IKEA, they have some of the most beautiful furniture designs. So again, right? I just place that chair. Now, individually. Let me just go to the floor view and, you know, reshape this. I think I'll have to move it a little bit. Yeah, there we go. 
and let me move this. So I don't think this thing will fit over here. Let's see. I mean, I'm just doing a very rough job trying to showcase you different aspects of the software. But again, I hope you get the idea. So yeah, now I think I should be able to slide it. Down. There you go. So now if I look at it in 3D, I mean, this is almost instantaneous, right? There's no rendering time and things like that. And the best part is, now let me show you something really, really cool. So say you can, of course, just click on this and get the total price of how much it would cost in an IKEA. So I just click on item list and it will give me a rough cost of what it costs in IKEA. So by default, I mean the currency set to uh, Japanese. I have not been able to change that. I don't know why, but you get a rough idea. And then once you have this figure, the next thing you can actually do is you can print this design. Okay. I can print all the design views. So what do I mean by that? You know, you get one 3D view, this is the 2D view, this is the actual furniture design and you get the list of all the sort of uh, different items which have gone into just, you know, placing one table and one chair. So this is extremely useful when you want to quickly make, uh, very quickly make uh, a rough idea of, hey, this is what you're going to do in your house. And because there's no installation file and this actually uses existing IKEA furniture, these sort of designs will be pretty practical if you think about it because again i mean ikea has its own furniture designs it has its own furniture dimensions so by going with this approach they are very easily able to sort of uh, give you an idea of hey if you go with an ikea furniture how it would look but you as a normal consumer is doing interior design for your house if you have an ikea near near you perfect but right now it's only in hyderabad so when you're say uh, anywhere outside Getting clones of IKEA furniture is fairly easy because of how impactful IKEA is as a company in the home furnishing space. So I really, really urge you guys to check out this tool. Now let me show you some more, you know, items which are there in this. I mean, let me just quickly delete this. So say, for example, I want to see how a kitchen would look. So I go to, you know, some base cabinets. Uh, let's see. Okay, let's go to a kitchen island. I mean, if you see, right, it's instant. The moment I click here, the moment I click, you know, this sort of, I click something and it's instantly placed, you know, without a single uh, moment to waste. And I mean, just this, having this simple idea, say I want to check, okay, how, how an oven will look. It's literally, for that, in that second, it's just there. And I can move it around and then I can quickly jump back into the render view and it'll show me, okay, roughly if you, if you look at it in the 3D, it'll look like this. So this sort of flexibility very quickly, you can brainstorm with yourself, maybe with your spouse, maybe with your friends, and then just very quickly, at least have a rough idea and then maybe go to a professional when you're actually thorough with it that, hey, you want to do it. Now, this not only allows you to print it, you can email it as well and you can add notes and the best part is if you create an account, you can save these designs. So maybe you can use these as reference points when you're going and buying your furniture or you're going and meeting an interior designer or just showing it to your carpenter. So I really think this is a wonderful free tool by IKEA. I really urge you guys to use it because trust me, uh, a simple tool like this, typically, you know, interior designers have to pay a bomb and IKEA is giving this away, of course, to showcase its own products, but you can leverage this and Use it when you're designing and building your own dream home. So don't forget to check this out. I'll make sure the link is in the description. This is the kitchen planner from IKEA. Uh, this not only allows you to plan kitchens, it allows you to plan office spaces and dining rooms and things like that. But yeah, please, please do check it out and let me know what you think. If you want a full, you know, tutorial of how to use this in detail, do let me know in the comment section. I will definitely create a video and show it to you guys. Uh, that's about it, guys. Thanks a lot for watching. So this was Home Tips Episode 7. Now stay subscribed for more future videos like this. And again, I would like to warn you this, please self quarantine as much as possible. That's the most effective defense against the coronavirus. See you guys in my next video.